So this little palette right here, the Meant to Be palette from ColourPop was so highly requested from you guys. You wanted to see this palette in action. And then I did another look where I did use it, but I didn't do the tutorial. And you guys were all like, your eyes look so good today. We please do a tutorial? Here it is for you. I'm going to be showing you this look today. The day that I did have that look on, the mint green on my eyes, I was wearing a mint green t-shirt and I think it kind of really set things off. But today I'm wearing pink and I feel like the spring look still goes together and so I really like it. But the Mint To Be palette is awesome, you guys, if you haven't seen it yet. These little palettes are so good. They have just a really great range. And I paired it with the Going Coconuts palette. This has been such a versatile palette for me and it's so good to use with just about every one of these little pop of color palettes. And for the price, you know, you're getting some really good quality and you're getting quite a variety on there. So those are the two I used, but I also used this Exhibitionist eyeliner in metallic green and I put that in the waterline. Oh my gosh, you guys, these are so pretty. Also really quickly, the Just My Luck one, it just came to Ulta if you guys are interested. This one has a lot of really great greens in it too, but if you're um, light color, the other one might be better for you. But if you're a deep skinned girl and you want to delve into greens, these are gorgeous. So those palettes are the ones that I'm recommending in this video. But again, if you have these colors in your arsenal, just try this look with what you already have. Let's get into the tutorial right now. Okay, so I always start my tutorials or my looks with uh, eyeshadow primer. I feel that that is so important, especially now that we're coming into the summer months. It is just going to get hotter and hotter and your eyeshadow is going to crease and melt if you don't use some sort of eyeshadow primer. So use whichever one you like. This one happens to be the Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have been working on this tube for a very long time. I love this eyeshadow primer because it is opaque. It's white. It completely takes care of my veining and all of the discoloration that I have there. I will normally put that up into my eyebrow, but since my eyebrow is done today, I'm going just up to that area. And then I'm gonna take, this is from Benefit, this is their highbrow pencil. I've been working on this pencil forever to get it gone, but I do like the Wet n Wild one too. And I'm just gonna kind of carve out my brow just a little bit. I like the pinkish color of that, and then I'm going to put it in here on my inner corner that helps brighten it up. I am going to put a little bit of another powder on there eventually, but this really helps brighten everything up. Now to set the look off and before I get going on the actual eye, eye shadow, I'm going to use the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Eyeliner and this one is in emerald green and I'm just going to go right there into the inner rim and I just think that this really makes this look set off. I do this at the very beginning because what I'm gonna do is right before I put my mascara on, I'm gonna go in with another coat because it seems to be those two coats can meld together and it just seems to last a lot longer. Next, I'm gonna go in with the tape. This is the Sephora Collection Lineup Makeup Tape. I'm going to stay away from this area right here. As you can see, I have a little fold right there from my eyes being hooded and sagging and downturned. So I'm gonna stay away from that. So I'm bringing that about a quarter inch or an eighth of an inch away. And I will lift my brow just a little bit to make sure that there's no creasing going on. Because if I just you know, looked forward, there would be a little bit of creasing going on, but I'm trying to avoid there being any sort of a skip right there where my brow does fold over. Now I'm going in to the, the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop and I'm color pop and I'm going into this color right here which is a very very neutral brown and I'm just going to take that as my transition color and you can see that I've kind of laid that a little bit down further that's because of that fold over right there so this area right here there's quite a lot of area I'm actually going to start shading right there in that area because what that does is it's going to make this look lifted and when you have that tape you have that guide so you don't have to be quite as precise so I'm going to just bring that shadow clear out there and then I'm going to bring it up into the arch and I'm using little pushing motions no windshield wiper back and forth because that doesn't really work for me and as I get around to this part of the eye the inner part of the eye I'm going to just follow the arch of the brow and you can see that on this side it just goes 
from that tail and it comes in almost in a straight line but with a tiny bit of arch right there so that's what i'm trying to achieve and i'm not going to come in here to the inner corner because i want there to be more light there almost but not quite into that inner corner where the eyebrow is by the way that brush is just a zoeva fluffy brush and now i'm going in with this one is a luxie brush and i'll make sure i list all these up there for you but it's kind of just a smudger brush a stiffer smudger brush and i'm going to go into the darkest color in the palette out here which is a uh, deep brown and then i'm going to go right out here on the outer corner and I'm just going to push that color onto about a third of the lid. You guys have seen me do this before. This is pretty much what I do in just about every single one of my tutorials. And I'm just going to take that color and lay it down a ton right there. Then I'm going to take a medium fluffy brush. This is also from Luxie. I think this one is the 213. And now I'm going to just go about really blending this like crazy. And it's just going to create a gradient without having to put another shade in there. I'm pulling it over a little bit right there in the crease to create more shadow. And I'm definitely pulling it out towards the tail of the brow where we started the shadow. And you're just going to keep working on that until it's diffused. And it looks like it is a dark shadow on the lid and then a lighter shadow transitioning into the actual transition color. So I'm just pulling up and out and over and I'm going to do that quite a bit because I laid the color down in the first place. So that is the second color that we're using. Now we're going to go into the Meant to Be palette. This is all over the lid. So we're going to take the middle color right here. I'm just going to pick that up on my forefinger. My fingers work best with this. And then I'm going to spray my finger lightly with just any setting spray this happens to be the flower beauty uh, hydrating setting spray and that is going to help lay that down okay now i'm just going to start touching my eyelid i'm not going to swipe right away because i want a lot of this color to be deposited and i definitely am shaky today as always you guys so i'm not going to try and mess with my finger just making a jiggly mess on my eyelid i'm just going to kind of touch and pull over then once you have that where you want it, you can go back in with that shader brush, deposit just a little bit more of the shadow and blend those two colors out right there. You could do this with your finger if you wanted to too and you wanted to have more control. Either one is just fine. And then I'm gonna remove the tape and you have that crisp line right there, which I love that look. We're gonna just diffuse it a little bit with the original shader brush and I'm just going to go along the line and go back and forth until it's just diffused. Now you can see that now you can't really tell that I have that big of a fold right there because now we've gone about shading it to be able to be closer to the same color. So I don't have as much of a noticeable downturn right there. Now I'm gonna go back into the Going Coconuts palette and I'm gonna pick up this color right here, which is the light flesh tone color. And I'm gonna um, do my inner corner right here with that and lay that down in there. And I'm gonna pull it up just a little bit to bring some lightness because that's where I get super duper dark. This shade has like the teeny tiniest amount of shimmer in it. I love it. It's a really great shade and I'm going to just put it just a tiny bit up there along my brow. My brows are struggling right now, you guys. Holy moly, they are having a time. So I'm trying to grow them back in a little bit down below, but I have a tendency to want to pluck so bad. So yeah, I don't want to do that. Okay, I'm gonna put that second coat that I talked about onto the waterline. I'm gonna do that right now. And that just helps set that a little bit. And then I'm gonna go back into the Mint to Be palette and I'm gonna take this color right here, which is the darkest color, almost a grayish green. And this is just a teeny tiny smudger brush from Morphe. And then the lighter green right up here, but I'm mostly staying in with that dark green. And I'm gonna connect the outside corner and I'm just gonna very lightly smudge that. And I definitely only did about a third of the eye out here. The rest of it is only from just the eyeliner in there. That's what you're seeing. And I really like this pop of green 
eyeliner. Now a little trick that I learned a long time ago, and I think I've said it several times on this channel, is just take a little angled brush. This one's a little bit thicker. An angled liner brush and some regular powder. This is from um, number seven. It's just their pressed powder. And I'm going to go right underneath where that eyeliner was to set it. I do not set my concealer right here with powder because it just looks cakey. It already looks cakey no matter what I do, but it's gonna look more cakey if I put powder. So staying right up there and making sure that I get that line, just a little bit of powder under it helps it to not bleed down during the day. So that's just a little bit of a trick and tip there. I almost always do my liner and my mascara off camera. I'm gonna do my liner today, but before I do my liner, I'm going to take my curler, my eyelash curler. I do my curler before my liner because if my liner gets in my lashes, then they have a tendency to get really clumpy. So I just go on there and I just curl those really good. And what I'm gonna show you is how I do my liner. I'm not nervous, I just have that disability. So here we go. I don't normally do this, but I'm gonna lay this on its side and I'm gonna go right there into the inner corner as much as I can. And I'm going to go as absolutely tight as I can along that lash line, as much as possible. I even push the lashes down. And then when I get out here, I'm gonna stop. I stopped about a quarter inch away from the outer part of my eye. Because if I go down, that's gonna pull my eye down. Okay, now I'm gonna go do that mascara and I'll be right back with you. Okay, everybody, there's the finished look. I'm going to just sit back a little bit so that you guys get a better view of what's going on. This is a very, very simple look. The last time that I wore it, I had on a green shirt, a light green shirt, and it just looked so good because it set it off. But it is so simple to be able to do these pops of color. And the star of the show, I feel like, was that exhibitionist green liner. I just love that pop into the waterline on the base of on the bottom lashes. And I just think that it really set the look off. I love that we're getting into spring and we can start to experiment with a lot of these pretty colors. I hope you did like this look. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I do have a tutorial coming on that mastery palette from LA Girl. Just so you guys know, that is my next one that I plan on doing. But the meant to be, meant to be had been so highly requested that I wanted to make sure I got this up for you as soon as possible. I hope that you did enjoy it. I hope everybody is doing really well. Let me know what you think about it in the comment section. If there are other colors that you would like to see me do, I, I have had a request for blue. So that will be somewhere in here pretty quick. So hope you guys are having a great, wonderful day. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye-bye.